In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how you activate the buyer portal trigger. First of all, in the engine area inside triggers, you'll see that you have three triggers that relate to the buyer portal, all labeled with buyer portal. The first one that you will need to activate is called the update criteria alert. By hitting the edit trigger option, you'll be able to activate this trigger and use the schedule event area by hitting edit. This is where you will pick the date and time you would like the first email to fire off to all of your buyers or all of your database. If we pick the start date as next Tuesday, I'm going to change that to 10 a.m. And here I can set to repeat how often I'd like this email to send. I'm going to say that I want this to happen every six months, but you're able to put any number and select days, weeks, months, or years. And you can then leave the repeat forever on and then hit edit. With the trigger actions, you'll need to hit the edit option and the only thing you really need to change here is if you're looking at the recipients, do you want this email to send to all of your buyers or just all of your clients or all your potential tenants? The template that it's using is the preset template that we've loaded into your account. The second thing you'll need to select is are you going to be sending this from the agent who's attached to the record as the primary agent or do you want the email to come from a specific user in your office? We'll default it to the primary assigned. Once you've adjusted this area or you've left it the same, hit edit action and then at the bottom of the screen, you can hit the edit trigger option. You'll now be able to see that your buyer portal update criteria alert is status active. Now let's have a quick look at how this trigger will work. By going to the dashboard, the system will find all of your buyers in the system. We can see that the primary agent for this buyer is Carl, the primary agent is for Andrew, the primary agent is Dimity, primary agent below is Luke. So there's four clients who have four different agents who the email is going to come from. It will grab all of the buyers, hit the send email option. It will use the default template that we have set up in the trigger, which is the update details. And the email will now send to all of your buyers using this template and it will send from the primary agent and the system will automatically send this for you. There are also two other triggers that come with the buyer portal system. By going into the engine area and looking at the triggers, you'll see that there's the buyer portal inactive buyer and the buyer portal updated buyer criteria. Both of these two triggers are alerts to the agent when a buyer fills in the buyer portal. If you would like to receive whenever a buyer tells you they're no longer looking to buy an email alert with their name, mobile and contact number, go into the edit triggers option and all you'll need to do is turn this as active and hit edit trigger. The same with the updated buyer criteria. By going to the edit trigger option, you'll be able to hit the activate option. And what this will do is actually send the agent an alert, letting them know their buyer has updated the portal. And it will then instantly send the buyer an email saying, thank you for updating your buyer criteria. Here is a list of matching properties. We suggest you turn this one on, hit the active option, and at the bottom, hit the edit trigger. With the buyer portal system inside the engine in the templates, you'll be given a few email templates that go with this. By searching the word trig, you'll see all of the trigger emails. The buyer portal ones will all be next to each other as they're all in alphabetical order. You'll see you have the alert for an inactive buyer, the alert when someone updates their criteria, the buyer match email is what's sent to the buyer after they finish filling in their criteria, and the update details is the main email that gets sent for them to update their details. Looking at this update details email, if we go into the edit, and you can see the button that says update my details, by clicking the edit option and looking at button one, you'll actually see the merge tag here that you can copy and paste and use in any email or SMS template that you would like to blast out to your database to have them click this link or this button to update their criteria. It's best to use on a button, but if you copy this particular merge tag and you go to edit some text, just to show you how you can link it, we could add a line to this, click here to update your criteria. And with the click here, we can highlight that, use the link option, and we're able to paste in the merge tag, which will then hyperlink this to the link which the button is linked to. So in summary, the buyer portal actually has a lot of components to it. If you look in the engine, there'll be three triggers that you are able to enable to use the trigger. One for the mass email out to all of your database, all of your buyers at a certain set time frame. The alert if someone updates their criteria with the follow-up email of the matching properties. And also the alert to the agent 
if anyone becomes an inactive buyer. Inside the engine in the templates, you'll be able to search using the trig to see the four standard buyer portal emails that come with these triggers. And inside the engine in the DNA plans, if you search the word trig, you will see the two buyer portal triggers that are fired when a client becomes inactive and that has the steps for when a client updates their buyer criteria.